So how many years have you been promoting this show? My first year was when the two contests were separate, 1987, did the men's nationals in Atlantic City, probably the best nationals in the history of the NPC. Then I did the women separately in New York, Manhattan, my home. And then from 92 on, I've been a promoter of the nationals every year since and hopefully many years into the future. Yeah, so since the 80s, how have the numbers of the competitors increased? A lot of it has to do with the classifications. The NPC as an organization, which I also function as their national media director, always looked at classifications as a marketing opportunity. So that's how we came fitness divisions, figure divisions, and able to expand arenas in the whole fitness industry that we could put our imprint on. And for that reason alone, the registration numbers, the number of sanctioned events around the United States have increased uh, leaps and bounds. Are there any national champions that kind of stick out in your mind as the, some of the best that you've seen? Well, the guy who won my 87 show, Sean Ray, you know, is obviously one of the great ones. Um, obviously, you know, my old buddy Lee Haney goes back to the original NPC championship. The one that was done, I think it was either the city center or town hall in 1982, the very first NPC champion. Lee was here tonight, you know, uh, at our uh, finals uh, meeting before the show tonight. Uh, did a glorious speech about the earnest of training and what there is in the fitness industry and he's done it very very many many years he's a great friend of our president Jimmy Mannion and and of mine for again many many years now you recently mentioned an opportunity for some bikini competitors can you give us a little bit more information about that sure I've been in the television industry for more years than I want to plead guilty to um, but if I'm running around the streets, they call me an OG, so that means I'm not a new kid on the corner. But regardless, I've been an executive in the television business. I spent 16 years at ABC. I was president of television, general media, international. And I own a number of production studios now. And I have television in MMA, boxing, wrestling, and a whole bunch of other types of environment. I have a brand new show coming out, a hip-hop music show coming out on national television. I want to give you that because you'll know the flavor of where I'm going. I felt that, like many years ago, there was the Swedish bikini team, the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders, with the types of super hot women in this bikini division. It gave us the ability to create a platform for general marketing interest. A for, again, broad-based television, like the Spikes of the world, the A&Es in the world, the ESPNs in the world. But even more importantly, a platform for sponsorship, third-party involvement with companies like L'Oreal, okay, who would want to get involved with beauty-seeking women, that that was their major focus in life, like a lot of these gals. Obviously, a lot of them want to get into theatrical reels, movies, television, what have you, modeling. We felt that exposing them in a broadcast form in, in environments that I'm involved with, for some of the national boxing promoters that I co-venture with that have fights on ESPN, Showtime, HBO, or my MMA brand, which again is a client of mine, I'm the media director for King of the Cage, that has six hours a week on MAV TV, has a couple of weeks on Spanish National Network Espina, okay, uh, rather Azteca, excuse me, shame on me. Um, so we felt that if the team will work as a team, that's the linchpin on this, that we have all the class winners as a group appearing on national television as that. The trophy girls, the ring card girls, whatever the case may be, hosting VIP receptions at high roller casino events, which is well out of where our boxing and our MMA King of the Cage events occur. We thought it would be an excellent way to broaden potentially the base, not only the media, uh, spot, uh, media, shall we say, media exposure of these bikini team winners, but also bringing in a lot of companies to help underwrite the environment as a whole. And that's something that could raise the en entire environment of the NPC, which is frankly part of what I do. So there you have it, bikini competitors. You've got an awesome opportunity. Uh, thanks for taking the time. This has been a fantastic 2012 Nationals, and I wish you many years of success to come.